Hi everyone, it's Cecily. I've gotten a lot of requests on my last cat print video, which was posted about a year ago, uh, asking how I set up my cat print files, how I use cat print, and so I just wanted to briefly go over that. Um, it's a pretty simple process, but I can understand how there's a lot of confusion. Uh, I just got in the mail my second cat print order, and I've, I'm really happy with the quality. Uh, cat print has just so far been the company I'm going to be using for my prints. So specifically the postcard setup was something that people were interested in. Um, I, for this I use Clip Studio Paint, but that's just because it's my drawing program. It would be a similar process in pretty much every other drawing program. So what I do is I open up the flattened version of the image that I want to create a postcard of. And I also open up um, a new 12 by 18 um, document or sheet. Um, on the image, I shrink the resolution down, um, I believe it was to five and a half inches on the longest part. And then I copy and paste that onto the blank document. And then I arrange it so that I have nine uh, images comfortably fitting on this. You want to be sure to leave enough room for yourself to cut. Um, just be aware that you're going to be cutting these out yourself and you want to make it easy on yourself. Uh, once you export that as a PNG or JPEG or whatever, once you export that at a high resolution, are you able to log into CatPrint and go to upload your own design. You will add files. Um, this might take a while, depending on your Wi-Fi speed. And then under job type, you will choose the 12 by 18. Um, that's the size of the document that you created. On the next tab, you'll select the bleed, which basically means a white border around it or no white border around it. I left a white border. Uh, under paper type, you will select the extra heavy, um, extra heavy cardstock in the glossy. There's also a matte version. I have not printed in matte, but I'm sure it's just as great. I really like the extra heavy cardstock because it's it feels very quality. Um, and yeah, that's essentially it. You'll see the price drop down because it realizes, oh, this is an art print because of the combination of the size and the paper type. I believe there's a few other paper types that um, qualify for this art print discount. And also um, the size of 11 by 17 also qualifies. So you want to decide how many pages you want printed and just remember to times it by nine because that's how many final products you'll have. Um, the process is very similar for stickers. Uh, here's a sheet of stickers that I also got printed. Um, the only difference is um, you will print it on label paper, which is the their word for the sticker paper, and it will not have a discount. And um, for a full size image, if you wanted to create an actual 11 by 17, you would just essentially upload the image itself and select the correct size. I hope that this was helpful for everybody. Um, if you have any more further questions or need me to go into detail in a bit, um, just let me know in the comments below. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and safe travels. Thank you.